Well, hey guys, welcome to the Daily Bits. Glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. The weekend's over. Well, it is over. <laughs> by the time you guys are watching this, it, was, it went by too fast. Went by too fast. Um, didn't get a lot accomplished this weekend um, for the most part. You didn't get to do the things I wanted to do, but that's neither here or there. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm wanting to get back to the streaming here soon because um, I miss it already. I miss doing it and i've missed a few streams but that's okay you guys know the situation a situation is not getting any better uh it's not getting worse so far um so things right now they're pretty uh pretty stable until you guys know uh but anyways i wanted to talk about some of the shorts that i posted over the weekend now you guys know that i'm posting uh daily quote shorts they're mainly just mental health things uh there's just very simple things uh, to put out, and I think those are really fun. Uh, but I also do my other shorts, along with, you know, long-form videos, the daily bits, the streams, and all that stuff. But I posted one about First Amendment auditors, and it was actually two different ones. Uh, one got uh, really well liked, because I explained what happened. Uh, whenever I posted the other one, the only, the first one, uh, it got like 2.1k uh, views, uh, half and half mixed in terms of likes to dislike ratio. So apparently I pissed some people off. So I'm not apologizing for this because I said what I said and I mean what I said. But I do want to go ahead and tell you this. Now, if you've been watching my channel, if you've been paying attention, I've always said there's a difference between an auditor, a First Amendment auditor, and a frauditor. Not the same thing. Not the same thing. Um, you know, a real First Amendment auditor is somebody that actually wants to promote real change instead of making a spe spectacle out of it to get money for fame. Uh, that's where the fraud editors, they are the ones that try to get bad interactions and yell at the cops and scream at them and yell at uh, post office employees and uh, people that are just doing their job to get a paycheck or public officials. These people have nothing to do with it. And these Frauditors are the ones that go to cause problems because they think it's funny, and they plus they get a paycheck out of it. Uh, and we know the big ones. We know the ones that are really fucking stupid, obviously. Um, you know, I can't really stress that there is a difference um, to me. To me, um, you know, I do know that some auditors are actually caring what they do. Uh, so maybe if you paid attention to my channel for a while. You would know that. I have said that plenty of times. Um, so yeah, let's 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 go past that though. But anyways, um, you know, I did make a follow up video, and I think I made the first video because I was really pissed off. Uh, one, there's a girl that I know in this area, and I'm not going to give her a name. Uh, I'm not going to tell you where she's from because it's not my place to do that. But she was in a bad altercation in terms of domestic violence to the point where she got beaten, almost raped, almost murdered, along with her child. Um, and the cops had to be called in, and that person is now in jail, hopefully for a very long time. Um, you know, somebody said in one of the comments that I was stretching, a lot of stretching. No, we know. We know. There's a lot of these frauditors, like Chile. Chile has said this multiple times. He has said, you know, people shouldn't be arrested for domestic violence. Uh, domestic violence is a, a victimless crime, basically. He said this, in my opinion. But he said this. He, we've heard him say it. Uh, don't, don't go to jail because of domestic violence. That's terrible. You shouldn't go to jail because, you know, you're allowed to beat your wife. You know, I did make that. I did say that. I did say that's fucked up. It's really fucked up. And it really pissed me off because... Uh, you know, these frauditors are like, oh, nobody should go to jail. Uh, nobody should be getting torture cuffs. They should be talked down to. They're getting their rights uh, heard or what? I don't know. Fuck them. Piss me off. Really bad. Really bad. I don't even know why. It just sucks because I know the person. And, you know, I don't see any First Amendment auditors going out on the streets and pulling guys that are mercifully beating their wives out and taking care of things. They're not doing that, but if they get like put in handcuffs, they get pissed off. And that's not stretching. That's a true thing. So, 
you know, if you're one of those guys that said, hey, stretching much, why don't you go back and watch your Chili De Castro of the Elite Laws? Why don't you go back and watch some of this shit he says? Why don't you do that? Then come back to me and call me wrong again, okay? Just pay attention. Quit being a fucking idiot. Um, but yeah, I, I fucking hate domestic violence. Like, hate it. And, you know, I, I will talk, I will make a video dedicated to strictly that one day. Um, and we'll talk about it. I, I myself, I would love to be in a position to where I could stop things for that, like that from happening. I wish that I could, you know, make change. You know, here's my opinion. If you, if you beat your wife or your husband and you're, you know, on purpose, uh, you should go to jail. I don't care if you're male or female. Don't really give a fuck. If you do that, you deserve to go to jail. You don't hurt somebody because, hey, you're either drunk or you're pissed off at them. Cops need to be called in. They do. They do. And same thing goes for murder and raping and stealing and thieving and threatening. I believe cops should be uh, able to do these things. It's not hurting your rights. If you're trying to hurt somebody, trying to hurt somebody's well-being, trying to end them or are them, yeah, you should go to fucking jail. Straight there. Straight there. I don't care. They, they should put the torture cuffs on there as tight as fucking possible. Make us super uncomfortable. And I would advocate for that. I would actually stand on the streets with that sign. I would stand on the streets with a sign and say, hey, domestic violence people should get handcuffed really, really good. And people that are, you know, just abusing the system, people that are abusing their kids, or using their kids as a way as of getting money for people to feel sorry for them. Dollar hides. Those people. Those fucking idiots. A uh, bunch of meth heads that need their children taken away. Um, you know, some people don't deserve being with a significant other. They shouldn't be around human beings. Uh, I'm not saying they should be ended, but they should be put in cages. That's just my idea. That's uh, probably way out there, and it just that's just how I see it. You know, the things I saw when I was younger, I never want to see somebody go through that again. Okay? You know, I know from experience, I've seen these things. Um, it's not a fucking lie. It's, and I'm sure many of you guys that are watching, you've probably seen it too. You've probably, you might even been a victim of it. Uh, it's not fun. It's not fun. And these fucking idiots, they need to go. They need to go. They need to go. Eventually, there's going to be a, a, a YouTube reckoning. And I say it's going to happen pretty damn quick. Uh, and a lot of these people that are online just are harassing people, uh, which, you know, it's fucking stupid. Um, but, yeah, I mean, you chilly. If you watch this and you, you think that you shouldn't get arrested for domestic violence and it's okay to beat your wife or boyfriend or whatever, um, yeah, why don't you come to Ashland and say that to my face? Like, really, why don't you come to Ashland and say it to my face? Because you won't. You won't. You fucking idiot. Um, piece of shit. This is me off. I love you guys.